Hey, 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 what's going on, good people? What is going on? I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. Hey, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Mindset Talks. You already know we are excited. We have great guests for you today, okay? Listen, let, let me introduce them because they're, they're superstars, okay? So everybody calm down. These are real superstars, right? So we have none other than the, 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 the famous Marcus Webster. Woo! <laughs> His lovely wife, Miss Diavia Webster. Woo! Thank and you, you know, uh, 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 the one and only uh, Michael L. Parks, aka Pops, is in the building. Uh, so listen, listen. Um, we, I'm just gonna throw it out there right now. Uh, Pop, let the people see what you're wearing. Okay, can we just real oh. quick, just, go, just on real quick, this, this this just real quick, just real quick, just real. Come on, on. Wait, 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 wait. come on, guys. Go, 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 go. <laughs> One more time. There we go. Come on for the people, for the people, guys. Listen, we're excited. Um, we are here talking to our very dear friends. Uh, Marcus and Diavia, and just really going to just talk about like um, just a candid conversation on how we met, uh, how they came into the program, and their experience of the program. So, so I'm gonna kick it. To, I'm gonna kick it to Pops for a second because Pops, Pops knew Marcus before before I knew him. So, so Marcus, take uh, Pops, take us back. Like, how, where you know? How do you know Marcus? Like, like, well, how did we get here? I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop a few a few breadcrumbs for for Mark Webber. Um, actually, that's his, his alias. His alias is Mark Webber, and um, you know, I don't want I don't want the onions to start cutting either when I start talking about Mark Webber. Um, but um, he's like, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm just to be be um, respectful to other people. He's one of the best employers I ever had. <laughs> um, my first, my first job out of college, uh, worked with him for quite a while. Um, we quickly became friends. You know, it was more than just an employee-employer relationship. Um, he's my brother, um, and I love him, and I appreciate him for, you know, what he's done for me as a, a person coming out of college to become um, into manhood. Um, and we stayed in touch over the years. Um, and... You know, I know that I always have, a, I got a friend for life and, and, and Mark, Mark Weber. Um, mm-hmm. And I love Diavia just the same because anyone who loves Marcus, I love him too. <laughs> so, uh, right. but we yeah, love you uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm going to let, I'm going to let Marcus tell the story because I, I, I know that I mentioned to him what happened to me. And it's kind of fuzzy how we got to the point where it went from me telling him to them being in the program. But I know that we talk a lot about health. We've talked about health throughout our time knowing each other, but I think he was probably a little bit more into it than me. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I know I told him about it and um, he was amazed at the, the recovery that I had. And just from the things that we shared about what we were doing with people, he said, you know, I need to take a look at this. And so he took here, um, Diabe took a look at it and here we are. You know, I'm not gonna steal his thunder, I mean, their their thunder, but you know, Marcus, if you can kind of fill in some holes there, that would be great. Or Lady Di, if you remember, um, filling the holes, um, as far as how how we got to sugar ain't sweet. You want me to start back at Howard days, or you want me to start? <laughs> you, know what? It, 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 you know what? If it's significant, go ahead and let it rip. If it's Talk about how I was walk, uh, Rochelle's walking around campus, Pops following her around. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you went way back. <laughs> way back. Way back to the bowling alley. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Wow, wow. I was just sitting here thinking. I was like, well, shoot, that means I've known we've been married for over 27 years. And and but but we're talking like years before we got married. So right. I know I've known you. He knew you before I did, and I've known you, I guess, at least probably 30 years. Right, exactly. Exactly. It's, it's a long, long time. <laughs> Wait, how, how, how old? How old is Alex? How old is Alex? 31. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alex was born January of 91, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's when I started working for you. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. Wow, wow. Wow. I didn't remember yeah. what it was. Wow. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. It's a significant yeah. time for me. It'll never it'll it's it, it's indelibly etched in my brain. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That time. is uh 
and I'll tell you the beauty in all of this is because, so we've been doing this program, uh, I guess we went live May of last year, so May of 2020. And I, you know, I always say probably close to 400 people have come through the program since May of 2020. That's and of all those people, I don't think we know 10% of them, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. so to actually help people that we know is so special. I'm, I'm speaking for both of us to us because, you know, you know, they say, um, you know, we're not Jesus or whatever. And, but, but, you know, what, what is it? I don't the prophet, the prophet is of no reputation in his own country. You know, right, exactly. You know, the <laughs> people that are closest to us, mm -hmm. they're, they're the most difficult to, to, to break through to, you know, because who, who, mm -hmm. who are we? I, we're just pops and row. I mean, what do we know? I mean, that's truly, I know that's how, and I don't think people are consciously thinking that, but that's still what they think. It's like, mm -hmm. Like they just like, they don't know any, how can they help me? Mm -hmm. You know, whereas others who don't know me and they see me on social media or they see an ad or whatever, and they hear what I'm saying. And they're like, and they're like, I need to get in. You know, they don't just see me as, uh, you know, the little girl from third Luka ward Street. in Texas. From yeah. third ward from <laughs> Luka Street. You, you see, you know, they, they see me as coach Rowe, the health motivator. Right. You, right. It's different. Um, so, you know, Tanisha, um, asked me, I mean, not as she told me just yesterday, I think I told pops that her son asked her, uh, uh, a couple of days ago, tell me, is Auntie Ro famous? Is <laughs> she sure is. She sure is. Um, but, uh, it, you know, the, she just told me that yesterday, I boy, that tickled me. So he's like seven and, years and old. And tell him more than Instagram famous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but, uh, we, we are excited guys. So why, why did you decide to take a look, Marcus? What was going on in you all's life that you said, man, I need to take a look at this? Well, it took actually a minute because um, after Pops got out of the hospital, he told me about it uh, like soon after, but um, we, I guess we weren't ready yet, you know? And then we circled back around and he said something that sparked something in me. And I had a conversation with Diavia about it. And she's like, yeah, this sounds like something I can get behind. Cause you know, we've talked about other, you know, diets really, you know what I mean? Right. Keto and that kind of stuff. And, um, and we quickly did this and it fit our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, and Divy did all the cooking. So yeah. Those gourmet <laughs> salads look like cookbook ready. I said, wow. <laughs> oh, I'm sick of cooking. I tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, but we have the same problem. Just trying to tell our friends, but we try to tell everybody we know. You know, so you talking about you know, yeah. you know, we're not the prophets. We're trying to tell other people about it. But you know, we we saw family the other day, and they were like amazed at the of the, of the of the weight loss and that kind of stuff. We tell them it's not a weight loss program. You know, I mean, the benefits is that you lose weight, mm -hmm. but you know, we we're just healthier. So much more than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So right. Come on, wait a minute. Say it one more time. Say it again, Diane. <laughs> so much more than that. It really is. It really, and that was the thing that motivated me. You guys told your story, but. It was it was more than that. It really was. Here is what we were doing to try to solve a health concern, a health issue, a serious one. And the program worked for you. And if it could work for you, Pops, what is there to wait for? Seriously. Right. I mean, if you're able to get your your blood sugar down, you're able to get your blood pressure down. And we were dealing with all of those issues, you yeah. know, inflammation, blood sugar high blood pressure, all of it. And we didn't want to end up in a position where we were relying on medications to try to control the symptoms of the problem. And that's always my thing. I want to get to the core of it. I want to get to what's causing the problems. Mm -hmm. um, and the more I listened to the masterclass, the more we did the calls, the more I was like, I'm doing this. I don't mm -hmm. care what else happens. I am doing this. I know, you know, it's an adjustment. And the mindset part is, for me, was the biggest part of it. It really was because it's hard to make changes in your everyday routine. Mm -hmm. And once we were like, okay, we see that it works, right? You, you, you've gotten people through the program. You guys have done the program. We saw the results. But as soon as we started doing it, we saw results. And it works. It really, really works. And that's the thing that I really loved about it was just structured in terms of what you could and couldn't do. 
you, you were clear on that most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, people try to sneak a little something on the side. <laughs> one, one woman said, numbers don't lie. <laughs> numbers tell all your business. <laughs> oh, that was Darlene. She said, yeah. they tell all your business. <laughs> accountability was, was huge. I mean, the way that you guys put this program together, and I'm, I'm sure I sound like, you know, a poster child for this, but every part of it fit. Every part of it fit. And, and I, the thing that I tell people all the time is, once you figure out how disciplined you need to be mm -hmm. to do it, you won't want to go back because the results are amazing. Ama yeah. I have never, I've never had to diet, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I've, I've, you know, overweight and started aches and pains and all of that started several years ago, but I was mm -hmm. telling you earlier, we make accommodations for that stuff. Right. And we just put up with it. Right. Cause yeah. we think it's normal, but when you start the program and those things start to change, your sleep pattern improves, your quality of your skin improves, you you don't have the aches and pains as much. I mean, it, it happens so quickly. And I'm like, it can't be this easy in terms of like the, the changes that you make. I mean, I was like, it, this can't be right. This can't be right. I mean, blood pressure down, glucose down. I wasn't hungry after a while. It took a minute, but I wasn't hungry. <laughs> I mean, and and we like food. I mean, we love love food. <laughs> so just finding interesting recipes and and trying to mix it up and and not thinking about the thing that you said to me that hit me up. And I don't want to monopolize the <laughs> time, <laughs> but the thing that you said that really it hit me like a ton of bricks is food is fuel. Yeah. I was thinking about food like, oh, what am I gonna get to eat next? What what's gonna hit my tongue? Like, mm, that's so good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's that's what most people crave, right? What's yeah. going to provide comfort? What's going to, you know, take away that hunger pang that you feel, you know, just for a second, right? I was, when you said that in, in one of the calls, I was like, that's it. I don't care what I eat for breakfast or meal one. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Marcus said that today. I don't remember what we ate. We still keep within the time frame and, you know, we're still doing that. Yeah, we're still doing it. Was, it. it was eggs and asparagus. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he was like, is this breakfast and dinner? I'm like, I don't care what you call it. <laughs> 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 meal one. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, it when you when you get out of that headspace where, you know, breakfast is is eggs and sausage and, and, a, and a biscuit or English right. muffin or whatever, or yeah. a fruit smoothie, you know, when you get out of that mindset, and you really focus on the reality of improving your life, improving your health, improving the quality of your life. It, the, you don't work the plan; that you just follow the just follow the roadmap, and you're on your way. Yeah, but an added, added benefit was, and I, I, I talked about the, the, the program more, more so, but the added benefit was it spilled over into our life. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah. because of this program, <laughs> we did another program for our, our business. You know, so mm -hmm. we said like this program can do it for us in our health. We yeah. can do it in the business. So it makes more yeah. discipline in other areas of our life. And also. <clears throat> That's huge. Yeah. That's so huge. And, and just, you know, like biblically, we you know, talk about wisdom. You know, so now when I think about, you know, making wise decisions, the food choice I put in my mouth is me using wisdom. I, am I going to pick the bad food or the good food? You know what I mean? And, you know, knowing what is right and doing it. So it's like that all these other effects on us not just on our bodies just yeah. you know just our mental in our lives yeah, yeah. and just yeah you know working out twice a day we you know we gonna say we don't have time to do that we, we, we know when we're you do it. yeah <laughs> you we do. made time for it you know yeah yeah it's what i say how you do anything is how you do everything you know and so when when people realize like this is more about who you are as a person mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. people thinking oh this is food like no see when you when you when you're I mean, just really just being honest, like people can't follow simple instructions. You know, when I say make sure you so so I don't know. Uh see, we have orientation, like like we don't do orientation in person, but now we have videos that they watch. See, we see we we've upgraded since y'all <laughs> so, they, so they have all they have videos that they watch for orientation. So we give watch this before you get on, you know, on the call. And if awesome. a person doesn't do that, I mean it's just simple stuff, you know what I mean? And so I'm like if you're like this here, that too spills over to other areas. You're, you're, you're failing in other areas of your life, right? So, so you can't compartmentalize, you know, uh, uh, greatness, but you can't compartmentalize mediocrity either. It spills over, right? And so when you get this, like you just start 
excelling in other areas. Your relationships get better, especially if you're doing it as a couple. That's more time you're together. You're on mm -hmm. one accord. I mean, you know, it's um, I mean, Pops and I, you know, I would I would never say that we had a, a, a bad marriage at any time, but definitely when he look. <laughs> When he almost died, our marriage got better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God has something in store for you. Huh? <laughs> he had something That's great so in store for you. But, I mean, but it brought us closer in this area, put us on one accord here, which has always been a prayer of mine that we would be, that we would be on one accord as it relates to our health. And we were not. That's just, you know, being totally honest, we were not. So now, because um, I'm sure he would say, he could put me to sleep talking about IT. And back then I could put him to sleep talking about health. You know? <laughs> and so now uh, 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 we both talk about health. I'll That's just leave awesome. it at that. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Yeah. The fact that you two are on this journey together yeah. and, and you're able to help so many people is is such a blessing. And we truly appreciate you. We, we can't tell you. I mean, Marcus talked about our business. You mentioned relationships. It, it's impacted our relationship. It has had a positive impact on our outlook just in general, right? And yeah. and we he mentioned uh, us uh, doing a coaching program for our business. We've evaluated several in the past and mm -hmm. we're like, yeah, it doesn't seem like quite the right fit. And I mentioned to you guys too, before we started this program that we had evaluated a couple other programs, health programs. And we're like, no, that doesn't seem like it's quite, I mean, you know, you, you, in passing you hear about all these different programs, but I've actually watched videos and, and you know, done a, just the slightest amount of research. And I was like, eh, I, I don't think that's going to work for me. But your your story is so powerful and so compelling. And then after, you know, listening to everybody's uh, testimonies, it it I, I can't believe that people aren't just going, really, this is what we have to do to, to change our lives. But it, it, it has had such a significant impact, like you said it spilled over into many different areas. And when we found the um, the business coaching program that mm -hmm. we thought was a good fit for us, we'd been doing this program for a while. So I was mm -hmm. on him like a drill sergeant, like you were on the members <laughs> of Sugar Ain't Sweet. I'm like, no, this is not how we need to do it. You know, that's, this is what they said. This is what we have to do. That's right. That's it right. Works. It works. It really does. And it, it, yeah. if you if you do it, if you really put your heart into it yeah. and, and you you understand the significance of it yeah and and get the blessing that it is yeah that it, it's it's limitless it really is and it's so simple mm -hmm. yeah you know it's really mm -hmm. just making that that choice about yeah. what you're going to put in your mouth yeah, yeah. and, it, and yeah. i can believe the, the difference in man yeah. you know between the both of us we lost like 100 pounds yeah sweet know? yeah <laughs> that's yeah. amazing that yeah. is amazing. So uh, yeah. that's a good little segue because um, I know Lady Dot earlier, she mm -hmm. was talking about uh, lower glucose numbers and, and lower blood pressure early on. And, I, you know, just give us a little idea, a little taste of what it was actually, how high it was when you came on board, the blood pressure and, and the glucose. And then, you know, even in how, how soon or how soon or how long it took for everything to kind of turn for the, for the better. And just talk a little bit about that and the way you are right now. So my blood pressure, um, the morning of the first day of the program was 130, I believe it was 130 over 90, um, which I didn't think was, you know, super, super bad. I, I, I've come to know that, yes, it is. <laughs> um, but I know it. A little out of date. A little bit. But, um, and then my glucose on the first day was 100. Mm -hmm. And within, I would say maybe four days, it had come down to 120 over 80 was where I, and I stayed there for a while until I really ramped up my, my cardio. Mm -hmm. I remember um, it, that. It, yeah, because there was a period where I'm like, my my blood pressure isn't coming down anymore. And Marcus's was really low. I'm like, seriously, how are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> so I stepped it up with my with my cardio, and it came down even more. And so it gotten to the point where we were one one some mornings it was 105 over like 
64, 65, I think was probably the lowest I'd gotten it. Um, but it really is, it, it, it adjusts according to how much cardio I'm doing, how much water I'm drinking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then my glucose, um, within a few days, it had gotten down to like 80 something in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, as long as I, you know, spaced my meals well enough and drank a lot of water and, and, you know, followed the program, it, it had gotten down some mornings. It was 65. Mm-hmm. So yeah. let, let me let me let me say this right quick because it might be some people that's listening right now and they were like that don't seem like it's all that bad you know because I I don't think you guys were on any kind of medication when you guys came no. to the program uh-huh. so I just want people to know that's listening they might say a hundred that's 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 not bad at all or you know one thirty over over ninety you know I think you could slip slip past a doctor's appointment you know without them batting two eyes maybe one um, and so. The thing is here, we're, we're talking about getting healthier. When you yeah. guys came to the program, you know, we were telling you about how people's numbers were improving. Yeah. And I, and I, if I, and I remember Marcus, he used to always talk about health, always talk about taking supplements, you know, and I think he, he you know, he probably been, been looking at his numbers for as long as I could, I probably known him. Um, but the thing is, I didn't really know, <laughs> I didn't really know too much about that, you know, but the thing is, I've been so in tune with the health thing now obviously for obvious reasons, but um, I just want you to speak to us a little bit about your numbers, Marcus, when you came in. And then also like, after you tell about the numbers, then your mindset in, in this approach, because I remember initially, um, I think the focus was more on Diabe mm-hmm. than it was on you initially, but then you guys kind of jumped in, you know, together, because, you know, you, y'all doing this together, two or two are better than one. You're so right. can you talk a little bit about your numbers? Um, yeah, um, yeah, I... Right. I've been tracking my numbers since like 1998, like every year. So I would keep an eye on my numbers. I wish I would have done it young when I was younger. And I try to tell the kids to do it while they're younger so you get a baseline, you know, so because everybody's normal is different, you know what I mean? So I, went, I always want to know what my, my, normal, my normal was. And like my glucose, like used to be around 98, you know, my fasting glucose in the, in the morning. Um, but then it started creeping up to 110, and, you know, and that kind of stuff. And like I said, not not terrible, you know what I mean? You know, so um, so like I said, I wasn't really really paying attention to it. You know, I was like I said, I, I I thought I was doing it for diabetes, but I really was doing it for myself because my numbers need to go down. So I got mine, I think my lowest is like 75 in the morning mm-hmm. in terms of fasting. Um and um and and most of the days we're only eating once a day. So, you know, I felt the benefits of also fasting too. You know, I felt the the benefits of just the body resting and healing without spending so much time digesting and that kind of stuff. So it brought my numbers down um, to, to, you know, more than I'd ever imagined. I, I don't think I've ever had my fasting ever that low. I think I don't think I've ever had a fasting in my life that I recorded at least below 95 um, in terms of the fasting. And then on the blood pressure, so like my blood pressure used to be like clockwork like in like my in my 40s it's like whenever I went to the doctor it was always 120 over 80 you know, without fail and then once i got into my 50s it started elevating but you know as you get older your blood pressure elevates so i was like still not a bad bad not that much but i was at one i checked my numbers before we got on here it's like 146 over 82 um and sometimes it got close to 90. so um like i said still not terrible but i knew they could be better so then my blood pressure would um got down to like 110, uh, 115 over 60, 65, you know, and, um, um, and, and like I said, just doing the exercise and just eating more vegetables and that kind of stuff really got it down and, um, and just where I wanted to be. So I felt comfortable. I felt better knowing that, you know, we're probably adding years to our life, you know, by, by getting those numbers down, you know? Yeah. 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 I'm just looking at you guys and, um, you know, weight and weight does a number on you. I mean, you know, like, and and not just weight, food, right? Because so people think um, like if a person is a heavy drinker, like it adds, you know, years to your life, you know, you look older than you look. Well, you know, when you're heavy, you look older than you look, you know? And so uh, the IV has sent us that pick that before and after pick and i'm like it took 
15, 20 years off you. you know? I mean, literally, and I'm looking at you, Marcus, and well, I look like I'm 12, right? Yeah, exactly. 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 Hey. exactly. And, and Marcus, had it, had it, had, if it were not for this light coloring, uh, light skin, color, the glow in the right? dark. Yeah, 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 the glow in the dark. I promise you, you look like the Marcus I saw 25 years ago, <laughs> you know, seriously. And, um, but you didn't look like that when you first started, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, and Divey, you didn't look like you look right now, you know? And, and so, as I was telling you, Pops, that he didn't look like this, you know, when I look at his old pics. And so I now did. that I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and so now when I look it's at his small, old man, pictures, <laughs> you know, when I look at his, his old pictures of him, like, like right before February or right, you know, well, I say February, March time frame, and I look at him and I told him, I said, now I can see in his eyes, he didn't look well. I can see that now looking back. Mm -hmm. But at the time, it was just my husband. I saw him every day, you know, but when I look back, I said, oh, I see it in your eyes now. You don't, you don't, you don't look well. So now that I know what that looks like, I, you walk around. I was telling the people in the, in the, um, on our health coaching call on Sunday, I said, just as you learn more about your body and, and, um, and as you, you know, matriculate through the program, you will become like the health motivator because you start looking at others and you see how they're not doing well and you see what they're eating and you, and you, and you start to, uh, you, you hurt for them. Cause you can only, you see people limping and they, mm -hmm. and they talk about inflammation and, and this and that, and you know, and their medication and you're just like, wow. Um, and everybody becomes Rochelle, <laughs> I mean, you know, you see, you see what I'm talking about. To the point it. where they get sick of you talking about it. I'm I like, know. okay, we can't talk to them about that anymore. Cause they won't answer our call. <laughs> well, I, would push, I would send my numbers out to um, this thread of friends, you know, mm -hmm. I was showing my, my numbers like almost, almost weekly for a while. They're like, die told me to stop. <laughs> so got to They're going to block your number, man. They're going to block your <laughs> But, um, but, yeah, but the thing is, we, 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 you know, we're trying to tell our friends that, you know, because we've had too many friends who died so young. Too, oh, no, no, no. You know? Just three weeks ago, I think it's been, I have a cousin who was three years older, four years older than me, and mm -hmm. she passed away. And, you know, I can't pinpoint the cause, but I'm sure some of it was food related. Yeah. Health yeah. issues, um, you know overweight there are a myriad of problems that are a result of the choices that we make and that's the frustrating part of it it's it's not that it's you know a whole lot of stuff that you don't have any control over mm -hmm. right and that's why you want to tell everybody because it's like it's 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 not it's not as as hard as you think it is it's not as as uh taxing it doesn't require you to become a different person it doesn't you you're, you're you've mentioned it before you know something along the lines of, of kind of being a slave to the food, right? And it's it's not good for you, right? The foods that we have been eating. I took the smallest bite of this ridiculous chicken sandwich and I spit it out. I mean, it was salty. It was it was just, I'm like, I don't even see how I, I ate any of that. I have absolutely no interest in it. And, and when you compare that, just the desire to eat something that you think tastes good to you know, like you were saying, that that kind of bleak illness, like you you look like you're carrying around toxins, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the look, right? Your your eyes are cloudy, your your skin doesn't look quite as as bright um, as it should. That's that's what it is. It's the food. And I I got to a point probably in the last three or four weeks where I was like, I was killing myself. I was slowly killing mm -hmm. myself with what I was eating and just mm -hmm. being sedentary as much mm. as I was. Mm. And I, I, it, it, it was such an impactful moment that I was like, I can't believe that I, I was doing that to myself. Mm. It, it really is that simple. I, and I'm, I was telling my sister, I'm like, I'm folding up clothes in the closet that I can't fit anymore. And she's like, you better hold on. And I said, Oh, I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> this stuff has to go. I will never, ever go back. I will never go she back. She says what she means, and she means what she says. That's right. That's right. She knows that too. Yeah. But you know that lady died. I'm yeah. just saying it, it, it's so refreshing to hear you say it. Um, and, and you guys knew us beforehand, but I'm curious. And I thought, I mean, this is like a a, a, a hypothetical exercise, but it's it probably impossible to really answer what I'm about to say with any level of uh, you know um, accuracy. But 
if you did not know me or us for that matter, and you heard the stuff that we were talking about, because it was in line with what you're saying, when we tell people that it's on them mm -hmm. and we tell people like, like saying stick to the windows, for example, and people make every excuse in the book why they why they they have to eat outside the window or why they're not exercising and stuff like that. And we tell them that it's them and it's on them. It doesn't sound too good. It doesn't sound good. It sounds like somebody that's talking down on somebody. But that's not what we're trying to do. But like if you guys were other people that didn't know us, how would you? I know y'all love us, right? You know. <laughs> but like, like, how does that? How do you? How would you think? How does that go off? Like, how do you think that goes off with, with other people? Because you have a, a realization of it. And that understanding or that realization that I am in control and I don't want to give power to anybody else or anything else. Yeah. Where, where, the, how does that come off? I'm just curious because you know us. Like, how does how do you think that that comes off to, to, to the people? I, I'll stop by saying I think that it's it's human nature for a lot of people to not want to be held accountable for the choices that they make, particularly when they don't think that those choices impact other people, mm -hmm. right? So you think what you put in your mouth, what you eat every day, the lack of exercise, that that's not, that's what you, that's your choice. And that's the only right. person that suffers the consequence is you. And if you it's decide true. that's what you want to do, then I'll own that. The downside is most people have other people in their lives that care for them, that, that rely on them. Um, and, and everybody's motivation is different, right? Some people want to do it for their family members. Some people want to do it for themselves. And when you tell people, you know what, it's on you. If they haven't decided on the why, I don't think it matters. I don't yeah. think, it matters. Mm. I don't think yeah. it matters if you say it's your choice, right? If you decide to eat outside the window, it's your choice and, and you will suffer the consequences. If their why isn't great enough, I don't think that you telling them, right, no matter how nice you are or how, yeah. you know, how, how determined you are to get that point across, I don't think it's going to sit well with them because they want to do what they want to do for the reasons why they want to do it. And if that why yeah. is I want to get healthy for myself, I want to get healthy for my family, I want to get healthy to extend my life. If those aren't the reasons why, I don't think they're going to stick to it. Yeah. Or it's harder to stick to. I can't say they won't, but it's much more difficult. I think. Absolutely. It, it, it's, we talked about that last night. But go ahead, Marcus. You had a thought. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say that. Um, I remember Pop saying, you know, you've been doing it your way for 30 years. You know, <laughs> give us 30 days or whatever amount of time that is. You know, I, mean? I echoed that to him when we were talking about the business, too, by the way. We've been doing it our way for a few years now. The people who have made a lot more money than us had a lot more successful business than us. They are showing us how to do. We need to follow them. So yes, props to you. <laughs> <laughs> but we talked about that last night on the uh, health coaching call. And as I was sitting here listening to you guys, I was so, you, so right now you, you're on the, like you jumped in, you're on the other side. And so you, you telling everybody else, like, come, it, it does work. Like, come, it works. So, and you all know us, right? But Again, many people have joined the program that didn't know us, but what do you say? Because I can only imagine, I, I say this all the time, I can only imagine what's going through people's heads when they on Facebook or Instagram and they see my ad pop up and and it's, it's, it, it can come off just like a, just another person with a program that's asking for money. Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you have to invest. And so, uh, what do you tell the person like, okay, I don't know. Cause it, okay. We know it works, but you only know it works because you got in it and you experienced it, but to get the person mm -hmm. like to take that leap, you, you to know, buy I mean? into it, to, to, to buy to into it. it, you know, because we have, uh, I mean, they, they get on the master class, right. And they, they see those testimonies. And then I don't know when you, I guess, I don't know, maybe they think the testimonies are fake, you know, when I, I am not naive enough to think that, uh, there are no programs out there that have gone, that have not gone so far as to have fake testimonies. You know what I mean? So, so hey, I know a little, little thing at the bottom of the screen. These are paid actors. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So like it happens. And so I, you know, so when I'm talking to the people, I said, listen, cause at the end of the day, you just got to take a leap of faith. You know, that's all you got to take a leap of faith mm -hmm. because I can just tell you it works. I tell you, those are real people. I'm real. Um, and my prayer always is that they, you know, 
to see the God in me, you know, and just feel something like, you know, if nothing stirs up inside of you to say, okay, this is what I need to do. Um, see, you all have to, but you all know us, you know, and so there's a long history of integrity of this, you know what I mean? <laughs> but to the person who, and, and for sometimes that's a stumbling block because you know us, you know what I mean? It just depends. It just depends. Cause I told you uh, less than 10% of the people <laughs> we know, and we, you got to know, we know a lot of people that need it. <laughs> well, we, like I said, we told a lot of people, we're not, we only know one person that we know that did the program. Yeah. You know what I mean? We told, we told everybody, you know, Isn't that something? I, I, I'm telling people who are basically strangers to me. I, I was on the phone with uh, our accountant and uh, an assistant and we did a zoom call and she, I, I, I can't remember how the conversation got started, but I was like, yeah, I lost, you know, a lot of weight. And, you know, my numbers look good. And, and she started saying, oh, I'm on this kind of medication and this kind of medication. And the assistant said, oh, my my cousin or uncle or somebody else is, is in the same kind of situation. I was like, I'm going I'm going to email you the information right now. This is what you need to do. Um, but it's I think part of it is that, you know, again, you guys have a compelling story. And I think I, I want to think that if, if I didn't know you, because I've, I've known you a lot less than than Marcus. Um, for a lesser period of time than Marcus. But if I didn't know you, I think the sincerity comes across. I think you can genuinely see that you're interested in helping people and that that's what it's about for you. And I think that that is um, a, a huge motivator for, for some people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that when you see a lot of those programs online or on television or wherever you see them, um, it looks more like, you know, a sales pitch. Mm -hmm. Right. And and not necessarily a program that's designed to really help people and mm -hmm. help them in ways that will change them fundamentally. Right. Not not just here's a quick program that you can do and, you know, all your problems are solved. You talk about it being a, a uh, like a lifestyle. Right. Yeah. You you talk about it in, in terms of this isn't what you just do for a period of time if you want to get your numbers down or if you want to lose weight or whatever the situation may be. This is something that you can do and you can carry it through your entire life. That's right. And it will prolong your life, increase your health, health, all of those things. And so I, I get kind of that quick salesy kind of, you know, pitch from a lot of the ads that I've seen. And mm -hmm. you guys don't do that. Um, but I, again, I, I, for me, it comes down to the why. If, if the why isn't there or if it's not strong enough, I don't know how much more you could do. To You're convince. absolutely right. You're right. Somebody say, if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not strong enough. <laughs> like if you don't get emotional it behind it, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, somebody, I did an interview with someone today and they asked me, like, what is, like, why do you do this? What's your why? And my first thing was because uh, <clears throat> God told me to. I mean, like, I truly believe. God, God chose me. He said, no, this is what I want you to do, mm -hmm. you know? And, and that's why I say, whether you like it or not, I really don't care. You're like, I've been, I've been chosen to do this. I've been called to do this, you know? And so I'm going to do it whether you like me or not. I, I was telling the people last night, um, because I mean, nobody liked to be disliked. I said, but at the end of the day, if you dislike Coach Rowe, but you're medication free and pain free. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? We, we are good. I mean, because I, right. that's not why I'm here. I'm not here for you to like me. You know, it's so sometimes we're going to say things that you don't like. That's what coaches do. Okay. Right. Exactly. I can think of many things my coach told me. I ain't like, I ain't like <laughs> most of the stuff they had to say. Okay. Right. 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 Exactly. <laughs> but we were champions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were champions, though. You see? Right. I don't right. know. I don't think people uh like him Bill Belichick with the stuff he got to say with all his sarcasm. I don't think they like him what he got to say, but they were champions, you see. Yeah. Yeah. So um you know what you you've gotta you've gotta get over that, right? Because there were some times you said some stuff, I'm like, all right, bro, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Get on this bike, go cook this food. But but honestly, it's it's not it's it's not personal in the sense that you're trying to hurt somebody's feelings or, or upset somebody. It really comes from a place of, I care about your success. I care right. about wanting to, to get this embedded in you enough that you do what you need to do without me having to, That's to right. constantly reinforce what the rules are. I get it. I, I get the level of frustration that you guys mm. can, can experience, but it's because you care so much. Yeah. And, and 
I think for, for people who kind of look beyond the surface of what's happening, they know that. Yeah. They know that. Yeah. And we've had many, many people reach out to us. I mean, they say it on the call, after the call, I've gotten many text messages behind the scenes, just people trying to encourage me because, you know, or both of us, because um, because <clears throat> um, they see, you know, we can yeah. we can have a rough way to go when people are, I guess, can be accusing us of certain things or, you know, someone once told us um, that you, you could be a little bit more encouraging on the calls, you know, like you, I leave the calls feeling defeated and I'm like... Well, do what you're supposed to do. I mean, like, what do you do? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nobody. Well, at, the, at the end of the call, you would want to celebrate it because you've met the 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 goals, right? Yeah. You, you, you've made headway in terms of improving your health. Yeah, but you come in and you you don't do what you're supposed to do, but you want me to celebrate that? I'm not going to celebrate that. Yeah. A coach going to dig in your butt. That's what the coach <laughs> will do, you know? But it's for your own good because if I didn't do any of that and you spent your money, then you'll be complaining about that, you see? You spend money. This is an investment you made. So when you, when you, I'm going to say, raise your right hand at spending your money, you know, you raise your right hand and you <laughs> gave us permission to hold you accountable, you know? Yeah. So anyway, that, that's our, uh, that's an ongoing thing. And so we just put on our full armor every day and, and go back in the ring, <laughs> put on our gloves and Go back and, and keep boxing and keep, as Pop say, keep punching. We get up every day, we, we keep punching. We I listened to a sermon yesterday, and it 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 the, the one you know huge focus of it was talking about how people and the the pastor was also a psychologist, I believe, and she mm-hmm. talked a lot about how people try to stay, and I'm paraphrasing, in their comfort zone, mm-hmm. right? And and when you know you need to do better when you know you need to do different, when you know you need to make hard choices, it makes you uncomfortable, right? Mm-hmm. Because it requires you to do something that you're not accustomed to doing. It's not a part of your routine. And so I think a lot of pushback that you get from people is just that, right? They're, they mm-hmm. want to get back to what feels good to them versus right. what is best for them. That's and so right. once you're able to break outside of that, and I was in that place too. I think I mentioned to you before we started that you know, one day I was standing in the kitchen. I will never forget this. I looked down and my stomach was there. I was like, where'd you come from? And how am I going to get rid of you? Yes. <laughs> and I had no, and this was probably a few months before um, I learned about the program. But I was like, I don't, I don't even know. It's not that I don't know. And that was the issue. I, I said to myself, I don't know where to start, but that wasn't true. I knew where to start. I just didn't want to do it. And for That's a couple right. months more, I kept the same routine. I would eat what I would normally eat and not exercise the way I wasn't exercising for years, I carried on with the same routine. And what impacted me so much about your program was that the the, the simplicity of it in terms of, of the program itself. Now, again, discipline is a different issue, but yeah. the, the simplicity of the program, what was required of you, I was like, that's, I, I could do that. I'm, I, I, let me get it down. I'm, I'm going to get it. And the start of it was just you, you, you kind of go full in, right? It's, mm. You don't pull punches. You don't say, oh, well, you can have a little of this sometimes and a little of that. So it was all in, right? And I'm like, okay, make the commitment, decide you're going to do it and follow the program. It works. Just follow the program. We had a couple conversations where he was like, well, can I do this? I'm like, you know, you can't do that. Go <laughs> a couple times I was like, go get the paper. Go get the paper. <laughs> I had it near my list of recipes. I'm like, go get the paper. You know you can't have it. <laughs> but once you make the commitment, it 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 pays off and it pays off exponentially. Yeah, but like really the first week, though, it was just shocking, you know, that mm-hmm. we went, you know, the hardest part was the first week <coughs> doing the raw vegetables. But you know, by by Wednesday, our numbers dropped so much. I was like, yeah. can this be right? Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, I mean, is it really this? easy in terms of this is what we have to do. Like, I, I can't express enough. The discipline part of it is hard when you are accustomed to a different way of life. But once you make the choice to do it, just do it. I was like, this, I can't, I don't understand why people talk about, I, I try to do this and I try to do that. And I've been, <laughs> I did all of this. And I'm like, where y'all been? <laughs> you're, not, you're, not, you're not a call row. <laughs> Oh man, it's water. just that simple. We were already drinking water, so that wasn't a, a not enough. Tra- 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 <laughs> not enough. It 
it wasn't a hard transition for us. Right. But we were just amazing to listen to how people had a hard time to drinking water. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so they had to have something to put in it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They still struggle. They still struggle with it. Uh, it's just that simple. It, 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 um, we tell people it, the, the heart is the hard part is this like a mindset transformation like because you do have to transform your mind and and so we talked about this last night like i said which person are you are you the one who because you have that person who knows how to follow instructions will do it like like literally literally and figuratively check the box but that's all they're doing is checking the box and so they treat it as a diet so they do it while they're here but as soon as it's over they go back so they never tra- they never transform their mind you know um that person that's coming in half half doing it you know they toe dip in the whole way like halfway and then and then they realize man i'm getting great results and um i'm half doing it they got two weeks left and they try to go all in you know in the last two weeks and you know i'll tell you this i i if i really pushed myself i would be at the i would have probably would have been at the weight that I wanted to be, my numbers, my blood pressure would have come down faster if I pushed myself more, right? And it could I've done more, yes. <laughs> could I've done more, mm-hmm. yes. But for people who, like you say, just dip your toe in, I, I, if they're getting good results with that, I would say go all in and, and you'll get so much better results so much faster. And you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed at the results. You'll be yeah, let, let me let me just coattail on that because that's like real real important piece of information that you just shared because uh, people don't realize that when they don't go all in, they really hurt themselves for when the program is over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the reality is, if you can't follow the program with help, what makes you think you're gonna be able to follow it without help after it's done? So <laughs> when you if you follow it to a T while you're in the program and you will learn excuse me, you'll learn how to make the adjustments that are necessary while you're following a program. But when you go off of the program and then your numbers aren't right, we can't even make an adjustment until you follow the program. We can't make an adjustment. We say, you got to check the boxes. I don't know if we've been saying check the boxes when you were in, but we say check the boxes because if you you are only checking half of the boxes, we still can't make a, a real adjustment until you actually do everything. And so the the sooner you do everything, the better you position yourself. So when you're done, you'll be able to take the keys to your shiny new body and and keep it going versus just falling off the wayside. I'll tell you too, after the program ended, I, um, I, I continue to, you know, follow the the windows for eating and um, exercise. And I had a, a, a injury where I couldn't exercise for a few weeks. And there was a shift, right? There was there was a shift in my numbers. And I was able to, to kind of get back to where I was once I was able to pick up the, the, the cardio again. But my, I had somebody ask me, what are you gonna do when the program ends? I was like, there, there is no end. <laughs> this is it. This is, this is not a diet. This is my way of life. This is, I said, I don't care if I have to eat kale salad. <laughs> and so, and so, but you you figure out what it is that works for you and i i that's another thing the education that you, what you learn through the program is so significant what what food will spike your numbers um you know reading the labels preparing new foods trying to figure out what you can do to you know maintain and and keep going and not get back to where you were, right? Just just figuring yeah. out what works. Yeah. Just figuring out what works. And it, it stuff impacted us differently. Like stuff that he could eat. I was like, I can't, I can't do the fruit, right? Mm-hmm. I'm still not I ate a one slice of an apple today. <laughs> one slice yeah. of an apple, but it's it's a lifestyle change. I said I there's there is this there is no end to this. This is what I that's plan it. to do. That's it. That's it. But I, I, I promise you the fact that you know what the apple does to you. You see, that's so empowering that you, like that's information nobody could, can, you know, they can never take it away. Like, you know. Yeah. And so, and so anytime you decide to, I'll just say eat off plant, it's calculated risk. Like you still know. 
Right. So you know, definitely know what to do to get off plan, but you know what to do to get back to. Right. Like well, and know. it's the difference between eating one little, I mean, literally a slice of an apple versus an entire apple, right? Yeah. So, you know, you can make that choice and determine how much you want to kind of drift a little bit, right. but you know what to do to get back. That's right. Yeah. You know what to do to get back. And we're talking about an apple for crying out loud. Yeah. Okay. Somebody else can be talking about, I, I didn't eat the whole Snickers. Okay. I just had a piece of That was me. <laughs> that was and, me. Yeah, because we're not eating anything. We're, I'm not doing the program anymore, but I, I, I still eat the same meal, whatever she fits. So, so the thing is like, so I will eat a whole apple, but I wouldn't do, I wasn't doing any of that on the program because it spiked my numbers too much, you know? Yeah. So now I still, that's, but I won't do, I'm not doing candy. I'm not doing ice cream. You know what I mean? No chips. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. We're not doing any of that kind of stuff still. Cause so, we know what kind of impact it has. That's right. Love right. It. So yeah, I had a sweet right. potato today and a apple. Those are two, not too mm. sweet today. You know. So when people come, when when the boys come mm-hmm. out, would they be like, "What y'all ain't got no? What y'all? What what?" <laughs> they they we were talking about Thanksgiving dinner, and I I you know I'm like you yeah. <laughs> know I can't I can't do it. The last time they came by, I think we ordered food for them, and we ate you know what we would normally uh-huh, uh-huh. What we would normally eat for for the program. But um, I I ended up I did make Thanksgiving dinner. I made some turkey. I did um, cauliflower. Uh, mash and um, sweet potatoes for him and broccoli, roasted broccoli. That's what we had. So, yeah, and it was good. It was it, it was, was really good. Tasty. I'm sure it was. It was tasty. Yeah, you got to check out the cookbook. I got some nice I definitely will. in there I definitely that I think will. you will like. Uh, everything. Uh, well, props to tell you. Like I said, we made all the recipes, and he was my my taste tester. Uh, uh, so he tried everything out, and he says. I had I had to go through the drudgery of eating all of those dishes. <laughs> not I know, only, not only did I have to take pictures life. of everything, <laughs> I had to eat everything. Yeah, that's just what? unacceptable. Right. <laughs> You got to talk to management, man. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Listen, folks, for those of you who are watching, um, if you want to know how do you get to be a part of the Sugaring Sweet program, you see the little link, uh, uh, that's scrolling down a little ticker at the bottom. That is just click that link or do a screenshot, put it in your browser and go and register. We have the masterclass every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, from that point, you'll have an opportunity to uh, schedule an appointment with me so we can get you signed up. And then you too can experience the results at Marcus and Diavia um, have experienced. Uh, and I believe you guys did the 90 day program, correct? Right. 90 day program. So and and so when how long have you all say this last name? We're gonna wrap it up. When did you all graduate? How long ago? In July, the end of July. July. Wow. So we're talking still 90 days later, you still killing the game. Look at that. Because it's did, did, did Lady Di say it, say it. Oh, I know y'all said collecting you, y'all lost a hundred pounds, but Lady Di, you gotta tell people, you gotta tell them. You gotta tell them. <laughs> how how people much people want to know. As of today, I lost 70 pounds. Praise. <laughs> wow. So, I still can't believe it. I still cannot believe it. So how much how much since July? How much had you lost during the 90 days? During the first 90 days or the second? Yes. The, the, yeah, the first 90 days on the program. 45 or 46. Okay. So at least another 25 pounds in the last 90 days. And she kept it wow. moving. She kept it moving. And, and that was with three weeks down. Like I couldn't, I couldn't exercise for three weeks. So wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Oh, this is amazing. And Marcus lost still what about 20, 25 pounds, didn't you, Marcus? I, I lost 35 total. Yeah. Um 35. And, you know, you, we had that discussion. I felt like I was getting too skinny. So I, had to... <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I'm like, man, I can't control uh this mother nature. Okay, just do what you do, you know? Yeah, but that's but that but that was an issue within itself. You know, <laughs> I had to I had to decide if do I want to be a certain size or be healthy. Right. Hmm. You know what I mean? Right. And I had to have a conversation and die got tired of me complaining about I'm losing weight, I'm losing weight. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, so now I'm just like happy being healthy. You know what I mean? That's so, it. Yeah. Happy being healthy. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. That's good yeah. stuff. Happy being healthy. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. Happy being, you know, so on, on, on the. Uh, That's the next t shirt, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy being healthy. Turning. You got the wheels turning. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, um, because people, 
you know, they're focused on the wrong thing, as you know. You know, um, people are happy being skinny, okay, and they can be unhealthy. Happy being skinny, but but unhealthy. That doesn't, you know, that doesn't even make sense. Mm -hmm. Happy being healthy, right? So choose your choose. You know, which one do you, which one you want to be? Yeah, because the thing is, I learned a long time ago that the the sugar and diabetes kills you from the inside out. You know what I mean? You don't even know how bad it is. Yeah. You know, you know, black people won't check their numbers. You know, they're afraid to get pricked. You know, every now everybody's complaining about doing the prick, <laughs> you know, and but it's so important to know your numbers. That's right. Kills you yep. from nobody, the nobody driving out. around a car with the, with the speedometer not working. <laughs> yeah, with a gas gauge for right. long yeah. anyway. Exactly. For long. But you, but you will live your life without knowing your blood, your blood glucose. That's right. Yeah. Well, you know, you know better, you do better, right? Mm -hmm. Uh that's the hope. Um, so guys, thank you all so much. Thank you for yeah, uh, blessing us, thank really, uh, for trusting us, first of all, um, just taking a leap of faith and going through the program. We're so excited that you all got great results and continue to get great results, you know, because it's a lifestyle and it's just a testament to what we say. Like, this is not a, a phase of life. This is a new way of life. And you all are showing the people. And, and this we're is telling everybody and we're showing everybody. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Keep telling them. Keep telling them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's sweet. Yeah. Wait, wait, look, what's that thing on? Oh wait, wait, wait! wait, 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 wait. That is. Wait, well, let me go get it right quick. Get the shirt. Get, get the T-shirt. Get the T-shirt. You trying to get it? There you go. Oh, oh how'd that get up in there? <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah. So you all can go to. If you say, I, I, "How do we get some of that gear?" See, you fifty two now. To get this gear to help motivate the store. You can go to RochelleTparks dot com. and click on the about. You'll see the health motivator store, and you can um get some of this gear. So. Guys, listen, thank you all. Um, we got to connect, right? We, we haven't seen you all in, it's been a Long minute. Yeah. Been a minute. Yeah. Have we seen you in COVID? No. No, I think last time was at um, Pop's birthday party. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. It's been yeah. a long time. That was 19. <laughs> Wasn't that 19? It had yeah. to be. Yeah. It had to be. Yeah, yeah. because it wasn't wow. 20. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. He just had another birthday. So it's been, it's been two years. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's been two years because he just celebrated another birthday. That's right. You were at the surprise birthday party when he walks in and be like, what do you say? That was good. <laughs> I'm like, well, how did we surprise you, man? Like, that was good. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. Listen, mm. click the link. Register for the next master classes every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Um, that's all I got. Any any parting words, Pops, Marcus, Diabia, anything? I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, it cha yes. really changed our lives. Yes. Cha we cha love change. you guys and, and God bless yeah. you and keep this up. You, you have to keep doing this. Yeah. Amen. And we'll do whatever you we can to, to spread the word. <laughs> yes, to God be the Absolutely. glory. That is it. That is it, guys. I am Rochelle T. Parks. I am your health motivator. And guess what? Whether you like it or not, Mm -mm -mm. I do not <laughs> care. Okay, I can, I will, and I must continue to walk alongside you and help you to achieve optimal health. And we out. All right, love, love you guys. guys. Bye. Bye. All, right. Bye. All right, take Bye. care. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. All right. Hey, hey, guys. Before you go, I just want to let you know I am hosting a seven-day fruit and vegetable challenge on the first of the month, guys. I do it every month. I've done it for the last two years. You say, right? Why do I need that? Let me tell you what can happen in seven days. In just seven days, you can rid your body of the addiction to sugar, the addiction to salt. You can get rid of inflammation in the body. Guys, you can get mental clarity. You can sleep better. So many great things can happen in just seven days. So don't delay any longer. Go ahead and click the link below and go ahead and sign up. We're getting started on the first, okay? I'll see you on the first.